This is the hairstyle that I'm going to be demonstrating today. What you're going to want to start with is a rat tail comb, banana clips, bobby pins, hair care products, and this is a plastic needle that you can get at any craft store. And this is thread that's used for sewing and extensions. You can find it at a beauty supply store like Sally's. I'm starting with my Bumble and Bumble Styling Lotion. I'm just going to get about a dime size, rub it in really good in my hands, and then spread it throughout my hair. Voila! Then I'm going to take some Moroccan oil, which is to die for, and I'm going to again start with the dime size, and this time I'm going to just apply it to the ends of my hair. This is just going to reduce some frizz and um, give it my hair a nice um, coat of shine. Now using my rat tail comb, I'm just going to section off my hair so I can get the rest of it out of the way um, while I demonstrate the Grecian halo effect. So just um, part it however, whichever way you'd like and then clip the rest out of the way. Now that my hair is sectioned, I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to about, get about a yard of thread and cut it and then I'm going to double thread my needle. Double threading is just pulling the thread all the way through the needle so that the length of thread is even on both sides. Now I'm going to slide my needle through my hair about a half inch from my part and I'm going to tie the thread in a double knot just to secure it. And you're going to want to tie the knot pretty tight so that it holds your hair pretty well. Okay, now that I finally managed to tie a knot, I'm just going to tighten, um, I'm going to pull the ends of my hair to make sure that it's tighter. And you can do this loosely. I'm doing it tighter because I want it to kind of create a headband look. So then I'm going to take another, I'm going to slide the needle through another half inch in and I'm going to thread the needle through the, the, through the loop and tighten it again and then really you're just going to repeat this every half inch or you can take bigger sections or customize it to however you like If you're using a mirror, this is going to be 10 times easier for you because I'm using a camera and I cannot see what in the world I'm doing. So hopefully you can still get an idea of how this is executed, but it is really easy once you get the hang of it. Now that I'm getting behind my ear, I am going to um, finish off by securing the um, ties with a bobby pin. 
Um, in retrospect, I could keep doing this all the way around. Um, it, I just think it would be hard for me to demonstrate it. But um, you could definitely continue and make this into uh, an updo. So just take a bobby pin and fasten it in flat against your head and it should hide pretty well behind the ties. Now I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other side, starting with a double knot on the first section and then just um, threading and looping through each section after that. All right, now that I'm behind the ear again, I'm going to finish off this last loop and fasten it with a, a bobby pin. And then you can just trim off the excess thread that you don't want to show. Now I'm gonna take the tip of my rat tail comb and I'm gonna go in and loosen up each each section of hair between the loops. And you don't have to do this, I just like it, it kind of adds more dimension and textures. Okay, now I'm ready to let down the rest of my hair and take it out of the clips. And then I'm just gonna kind of crimp and style it you can pin it up in a ponytail, make it into an updo. Um, this looks awesome with straight long hair. Um, lots of different ways that you can dress it up. And of course, you always need to finish off with a nice light coat of hairspray just for hold and um, an extra body if you need it. And this is my Grecian halo. So I hope you guys like the tutorial and I hope you go home and try it.